All right, guys, so I am trying out my new stand, so hopefully this works out well. Um, welcome, good morning, or good afternoon, actually. I pray that you all are doing well. I think it is, what's today, Tuesday? So happy a Tuesday, and I know it's a couple days into the new year, um, <clears throat> but again, I don't do like, I don't know, it's weird, but it is January, and I wanted to try something a little different I'm not able to get everything into the shot here. I'm going to try my best though. So what I'm going to do is I am trying to, or I'm going to make a journal for the whole year. And what it's going to be is one page for every month. And these are file folders. So this one is a hanging file folder. And this is actually going to be my cover because I love that it looks like wood grain and it fits around everything so the first and then I have let's see one two three four four <laughs> five six I think six file folders if I'm not mistaken let me well, let me count the right way one two three four five okay so I have five now you can use file folders you can use cereal boxes you can use gift boxes you can use like regular folders the reason that i'm using file folders is because i i was going to put pockets in each of them but then i figured it's not going to give me enough space to journal on so my idea is every page is going to be one month of the year right and then it's just going to be like a memory page so I'm just going to collect things from that month and then I'll come through and I'll like collage everything on there at some point so because I don't really journal a lot and I don't do a lot you know like we don't really travel because there's a lot of us and um I just don't do a whole whole lot so I figured this would be enough room for me personally. Now, this would help, you know, anybody who also doesn't really like travel a lot or, you know, works a lot and just doesn't do a whole lot. I mean, I know that sounds kind of <laughs> kind of crazy, but we just don't. So I do plan on going a few places this year. So hopefully this will be, you know, this will work just fine. So I'm using for the cover this file folder. So the first thing that I have to do... So I have to get this little metal thing out. Um, and I know these are stuck on there pretty good. Oh, this one's not too bad. Um, oh, there we go. I spoke too soon. So if you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. I appreciate each and every one of you more than you even understand. Um, <clears throat> thank you all for kind of sticking with me. I've been a little sick. I actually went to the emergency room last night um still having some trouble breathing and just pain in my chest and stuff so just hanging in there um so a little slower than usual but i'm here <laughs> thank god i'm you know i'm okay all my tests came back okay so thankfully that's good i'm just trying to get this off this is really stick oh my goodness this is really sticky like extremely sticky and I was just gonna cut it but then that takes some of my the size away so I don't want to do that and if it's shaking I do apologize um I have a new stand and I don't know it's kind of like wobbly I gotta figure out how to make it work better so I apologize if it is wobbling while I'm doing all this, I'll see in editing whether it actually does or doesn't. Oh my gosh, but this stuff is like, I mean, it's sticking to my finger. <laughs> it's really, really sticky. Oh my goodness. Um, I tried it with a different folder and it wasn't as bad. These are, ugh. I don't know what they used, but this stuff is horrid. Like I said, I was just going to cut it that way, but then it, it takes away my length, like the width of it. And I don't, I want all of it that I can get. So, ah, uh, this is really sticky. 
I need some of this glue. Whatever they used on this Rainforest Alliance, the container store, you guys are, I need some of this glue. Whatever you guys are using, yeah, this is what I need to invest in because this stuff is, whew, I'm scared to try and pull this thing out. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is coming off pretty well. Okay, so this is not too bad. And this is going to get covered up anyway, so that's not too bad. Man, that's some good stuff. I need to call them and find out what they use because, my goodness. I mean, it's like all on my nails, under my nails. Ugh. This is some good glue. Container store. Let me know what glue this is because I, I need it. This would make... This takes glue booking to a whole nother, <laughs> a whole nother level. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> but anyway, so you can use a file folder. You can use cereal boxes with the holidays just passing. You can use gift boxes. That makes excellent chipboard. Um, no, 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 don't tear. That makes excellent chipboard. I always save like the boxes that the kids you know, tear up because they're not as patient. When I open my boxes, I try to save the <laughs> save the box. They don't care. Um, so those are good ones to use, you know, to use for covers, for just to add extra durability and stabil oops, stability to your journal. Okay, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is make sure it's wide enough yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it at this crease here put this over here and I'm just gonna use my my ruler and my box cutter because it's gonna be my best bet I think rather than trying to cut it because I can't cut a straight line to save my life so <laughs> we're gonna do it this way just to make sure we get a nice even cut. Oh no, my ruler Ooh, it's stuck. There we go. And again, this is getting covered, so it doesn't matter that there's you know glue on it or whatever. <clears throat> but I know Dollar Tree has some file folders. You know they have, and you know you can get folders from Target, Walmart, anywhere for pennies on the dollar. So especially during back to school, but if you're trying to do something, oops, like this, then, you know, you can use file folders. Again, if you don't have file folders, you can use boxes, cereal boxes, any kind of boxes like that. All right, so that is perfect. Then I put my folders in order already, so I'm just gonna kind of go through. This is going to be the one that I cover this inside. So what we're gonna do is make sure that the seam the fold there matches I don't mind that these are here I kind of like that they're going to be sticking out a little bit so that's fine for me then we're going to try now I've tried this puzzle saver it's from the Dollar Tree I used it on um, some master boards and it worked really well so I'm going to use it and see you know how well it sticks to you know how well it works to stick this whole cover because this is a lot of glue to try and use my like fab oh, I forgot to get a wipe uh, to use like my fabric fix or anything like that that's going to be a lot of glue so this goes on really well and like I said it worked really well for my master boards so I'm hoping that it will work well with this we'll see um see how it kind of holds up and again I mean if oops if it doesn't hold, you know, no big deal. You can just go through and re-glue it with something else. But I figured I would give it a try. And I forgot to get a baby wipe to clean my little messes up. But that's okay. We'll be all right. We'll survive. Just kind of, it's kind of cool too that it has like this little applicator on there. You can just kind of, it goes on really smooth. You don't need a brush or anything like that. I don't really like using my brushes to put glue on because then they mess up and 
I guess if I cleaned them <laughs> immediately after I used them, it wouldn't be a problem, but I don't usually do that. I'm usually pretty bad about... Oh, no, no, no! Ah, I dropped it. Okay, it's fine. It's okay. Um, I'm usually pretty bad about <laughs> putting my... Cleaning my brushes, like, right after I use them, even when I'm painting or anything like that. So, yeah. Anything that I don't have to clean up after works really well for me because I forget. I'll start doing something else and then the brush will sit there and especially with like Mod Podge and stuff. Ugh, it gets messed up. It's horrible. I forgot my brayer. Oh my goodness, Melissa. Melissa! I have anything? I guess I could use my ruler and kind of smooth it out with that. Let's see. Let's try that. It's very wet glue, sticky glue, so just know there's some some stickiness going on. I guess I should have paid attention. I put it all the way to the end there. Probably shouldn't have done that. Let me go grab a wipe. Be right back. Okay, I had to grab a grab a baby wipe so I can clean this up and not get stuck. And now, now I have a wet surface. Melissa, what are you thinking? I'm not. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, let's see here. What do I have that I can Here we go. We shall survive. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. So I, how was everybody's holiday? Let me know in the comments. Did you make it to midnight on New Year's? We actually, um, we stay up every year, you know, till midnight with the kids because they enjoy the whole Happy New Year and all that. Which is fun, you know, it's fine. We're usually home or at church, depending, you know, depending on the year and what's going on. Um, this year we did not go to church. We were home, but the kids wanted to go see the fireworks here in town. So we did that. We went and uh, last, it was kind of last minute. So everybody's like rushing to, <laughs> to hurry up and get shoes on and whatnot. It's pretty funny just to kind of see everybody we're all in pajamas and we just decided to run out there and um <laughs> and go see the fireworks and it was fun cute little display and it was not you know we live right next to where they do them so we just ran over there got in, piled in the car my daughter had a few of her friends over we all just piled in our car and drove over there in our pajamas <laughs> So it was pretty interesting. It was fun. It was nice. My my little ones really enjoyed it. The older ones too. So worked out well. Um, I think that's the first time we've done that here. I lived in Vegas um, for a year back in whenever that was, 2019, whenever that was. And it was the first year that they did like the really big um, fireworks display for New Year's at the MGM Grand, so that year, I went and saw that, we were like right in front of it, saw the whole display, it was really interesting, my son, my oldest son was a baby, he was a newborn, basically, and amazingly enough, he stared <laughs> at the fireworks display, I mean, he barely blinked the whole time, and he watched the whole thing, and to this day, he loves <laughs> fireworks. He loves um, for the July New Year's to do this type of stuff. He loves it. So, um, yeah, that was fun. That was something different. Like I said, we don't usually, we're usually just in the house and we'll have like family and friends over or whatever. But this year, my daughter was the only one that had anybody over and it was nice. It was fun. We ate. They played games here, or we all played Oh, man, I shouldn't have put that there. I need to find something. I'm going to have to cover this little piece up with something. We'll find something, some fabric or something. We'll put something there. So this side came out nicer than that side. That kind of sucks. So, all right, it's okay. What we'll do is we'll wipe this glue off of this part of it. And that way we can keep moving. It's no big deal. 
easy solution. I'm going to set this to the side to dry. You don't want to like fold it while it's, oops, my hands are still wet. You don't want to fold it while it's wet because it's going to cause some issues. Which I'm kind of upset. This one's, maybe I put too much on that side. I don't know. But you don't want to fold it. You just want to let it dry. So I'm going to set this off to the side to dry. So that's my cover. Okay. Then I'm going to work on the the guts on the inside. And it's going to just be, well, I mean, I'll, you can do it however you want to. Mine is going to be one signature. What did I do with that rag that I, oh, here it is. Um, <clears throat> it's actually an old sock. It's clean. It's just one of the ones that were without a mate and I was going to throw it away. And, well, we're giving it a second life here. It's serving a purpose. All right. So these are the, sorry, these are the folders that I'm going to use. So this is going to be January and February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and then because I didn't have enough and I didn't want to do a whole new signature, I'm going to glue those together. And this is going to be November, December. And then I'm going to have a back one. That way I can kind of just put some paper over. I guess technically you do this, right? No, it's on both sides. So it doesn't really matter. So either way, whichever way I do it, I still got to cover that up on the outside. So no big deal. So first thing that I'm going to do is glue this to this and i'm gonna again now this is kind of shiny like kind of weird but hopefully it'll work um what do i want to do here i'm gonna start on this one kind of work work my way from there let's do that i'm really hoping this glue works for this i guess i should have well like i said i tried it on a master board and it worked just fine so should be okay and again if it doesn't stick you know it's not a big deal just restick and I was thinking about sewing this although I am not very good with the sewing machine I did get a small sewing machine last year like a craft one it's very small and compact and you can like keep it on your desk and it doesn't take a whole lot of space I do have one I haven't tried using it yet because I got it right before we moved so I don't really have a a chance to play with it and kind of see how well it works or anything like that so I don't know if it would go through um, like th something this thick like this paper because this is pretty thick you know it's a, fi a file folder so they're pretty thick that's why I actually chose them was because I wanted something more durable because I'm going to be using it the whole year so you know pulling it out Wanted to make sure, like I said, that I had something durable. Now, I'm not going to go all the way to the edge because I don't know how far it's going to go on here. So, what I'm going to do is kind of make sure it's all nice and lined up. I'm going to just do that. Okay, so I'm going to move it down a little bit. This stuff dry. I mean, it, it gives you a little bit of time to kind of adjust and fix it up a little bit, but it does dry pretty quick. It is, like I said, it's very, it's a very wet glue. Um, so please know that. And I got this in the craft section at the Dollar Tree. So I've seen it here recently. So I know they, well, at least at mine, they still have it. So, you know, hopefully you can, you can find it as well. So let's see what part. I think I still need to get this piece glued down, right? Yeah. So these two can get glued. All right. So. Get some glue here. So, so like I said, I don't, you know, we don't really do a whole lot as far as like traveling and um, the kids kind of do things, you know, they're a little bit older. We have two younger ones still, but the older ones kind of have their own, you know, their own things that they do with their friends and whatever. So, <clears throat> you know, we're, oh, see, it's still, I did it too far over. Um, I don't know why I thought that was, <laughs> oh, Melissa, it's okay. It's all right. We'll just do this, clean it off again, and then it'll dry. It'll be all right. See, no biggie. Um, 
yeah, so I mean, we still do things, but again, our kids are older and some of them now live out of town. We still have five at home, one in college, out of town. She's in the state, but she's out of town. So the older ones kind of just do their own thing. We have one graduating from high school, so she keeps me pretty busy. And then I have the two younger ones. So there's that. All right, so I'm just going to kind of wipe this off because there's some stuff on it. And these are, I got these Happy Planner ones on clearance. Oh, wow, a while ago. I've had these for a long time. And these were the only ones that I had left. And I was like, you know what? Why not use them? They've been sitting around. I have used my other ones. There was like, I think I got like three packs and they were like a dollar and some change each. So this is the last pack that I had. And I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and just use them. So I like that some of them are blank. And then the this one's from the Dollar Tree. I just really like the design. I'm not big on lemons, but I figured I could cover it up if I, if I wanted to. But I thought it was cute. So... This is my signature right here, and basically you're going to do the same thing with this as you would any other signature. Now my cover is probably still drying. Let me check it out. I mean, it does take a little while yet. See, it's still wet, so I'm not going to be able to put the cover on it right right now. It's still, it's still sticky. So I'm going to show you this, and then I'll... Let that dry and come back and do it. So basically, I mean, some of them are a little bit bigger than the other ones. So you just kind of want to line it up however you want it. And that's my middle one. So that's fine. Yeah, so that's good. So my big old gigantic paper clips here. I love these things. I included some similar to this in my journal scoops. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that since I am just thought about it. Um, I do have journal scoops. I have an Etsy shop. I don't have a whole lot of stuff on there right now, but I do have some stuff coming. I do have journal scoops on there, junk journal scoops, which are so much fun. Um, they're random. I have a bunch of stuff in a little bucket, get you a scoop, and there's some fun stuff in there. I do have some more stuff coming as far as the journal scoops, so... Stay tuned for that if you're interested. They are so cute. I can't find my. Oh, here it is. Um, they're really cute. The stuff in them. I'm, you know, I'm gonna be trying to use those in my. Uh, in oh, wait, this is is this it? It's not. Oh, got it. Um, I'm going to try to start using the stuff that's in my scoops just to show you like how I use them what they're used for blah 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 because some people don't know what they are and that's totally fine um so yeah so basically I was going to do a five stitch I don't really know how to do a five five stitch so we're just going to do let me measure I don't usually measure I usually I if I can get my ruler I don't usually measure, but we're going to measure just for the sake of trying to make it as even as possible. So, let's see. This is, come on, I have still have glue on the bottom of this thing. Or not the glue, yeah, the glue from the, this thing. Okay, so it's not going to really be even because we're not at 12. So, we're just going to go ahead and go with 6 because... Why not, right? So I'm just going to go right here. This is going to be my middle. We're going to pretend like this is my middle. I'm just going to go right through. Make sure I didn't poke this one. Okay. So we're just going to make your three holes. I like to pre-make the holes, especially with this because it's thicker. I'm going through quite a few pages here, or file folders. So. And we're going to go about a little bit over an inch because it's bigger. So just a little bit over an inch. Go through there. Same thing here, a little over an inch just to make sure it's in there. Go through. All right. So then I'm going to let the, the cover dry. <coughs> here we go, my throat. Time I start recording. 
my throat starts to get dry. <clears throat> so again, we're going to do that. And I guess I could do that. Oh no, I guess I got to get it through the cover. So I'm going to let this, let my cover dry and then I'll come back and I will show you how we're going to put it together. Make sure I close this because oh, it's dripping. Yeah. Oh, well, I was talking about my Etsy shop. So I do have an Etsy shop. I have junk journal. I have junk journal kits, which are pretty fun because I just add a bunch of stuff into them. I have junk journal scoops. So a junk journal kit would be good for someone who's just starting out or even somebody who's, you know, a veteran just wants some new stuff, some goodies. Um, it would be good for anybody, actually, because I love using them. And then I also have, what else do I have? Oh, I have my Bible reading check. It's not really a checklist. It's really cute. It's a bookshelf and it has all the books of the Bible in there. I hand drew it myself. It's a download, so you get it instantly. And I love it. It's so cute. You can color it in. You can highlight it. You can do whatever you want with it. And... You know, I'm going to use it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to use it here probably this week. If, you know, if I'm feeling up to it, I have to get it out there. So I'm going to try my best to get it out there this week. But it's really cool. It has all the books of the Bible. And then you can just mark off as you read each book. It's going to go well with the reading plan that I have planned out. So, of course, it was supposed to start the first of the year, um, but I wasn't feeling well. So... I'm a little behind already, but that's okay. What I'm planning on doing is giving you a week's worth of the plan, and then you can kind of read on your own, and then we'll go over it. So that's my that's what I'm hoping to do. And I may just put it on my community tab and just kind of give you all the scriptures on there so you have them, and then we'll go. You can read through it. I'll give you the notes and all that stuff. So that may be how I do it. So we're a little bit behind, but we will catch up. I promise it'll be fine. And yeah, so I'm going to let this stuff dry and then I will be back to show you how I finish it up. All right, so my cover is dry. There is some bubbling. This was probably user error. I think that's where there was a little bit of extra streaks on there. I didn't smooth it out very well, so that was my fault. But it's okay. I'm going to cover this stuff up anyway. I just wanted to cover the like weird part of it there's still oops there's still a piece over here from the other one that's sticking out again I'm gonna decorate this up so that's not a big deal I'm not worried about that so then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add this in here so we're gonna line it up again oops I'm not gonna take it off I'm just gonna line it up this one oops can you even see what I'm doing sorry guys this is a weird setup for me I'm <laughs> this is just weird so oops no I moved it I didn't mean to move it it's okay we'll fix it hold on we shall fix it it's no problem okay so we're back in order there all right so now we're just going to do the same thing make sure goes through there and there and there all right so now we have that together and oh, I don't know what I want to use for I think I'm going to use my waxed one only reason I think I'm going to use this one is because it's stronger so it's going to work just a little bit better I don't usually like using waxed thread on my stuff just because I don't like the way it feels so it's no big deal though uh is to see and then it messes up your needles because this is one that I used before and now it has wax all in here. So let me clean that up here. Yeah, there's like wax. See, and that's why I don't like using, another reason I don't like using the wax, but it's okay. It works. It's stronger. So it's one of the reasons that I do use it. 
now to see if I can actually get it through. I usually try to flatten it out and it makes it a little bit easier. Hold on. Hold on a second. Let me try a new piece because that one was kind of messed with. Might need to get a new. Oh, no, it went through. All right. Perfect. See, but now my needle gets all mucked up. I don't like that. All right. So I do about three. Actually, I do a little bit more than three because I like to have extra hanging off just in case I want to add something or I mess it up or oh, 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 whatever. Um, so my son did wake up. So if you hear noise in the background, it's him. Uh, all right. So do I want this on the inside or do I want this on the outside? I'm going to do it from the outside. I can do it whichever way you want. I'm going to do it from the outside because I want my Right? Yeah, I want my dangles to be out here. So, yeah. So, we're going to find the hole. Go through the middle. Oh, did it move? Come on now. There we go. All right. Oops. All right, so you go through the middle. Doesn't, I, doesn't matter to me which way I go. Then I go through the bottom or the top. there and then you go all the way to the top here oh, where, there it is go to the top <clears throat> then oops, and you're gonna go through the middle again making sure that you do not I don't know if you can see because of the white but making sure you don't split that string or your thread I mean then you're going to go on the opposite side of this string go through then I'll see I put a little bit too much <laughs> that was a little bit too much I can fix it hold on oh well this one so we're just going to do this kind of Straighten it out here a little bit. There's always a way to fix it somehow. You can always fix it. And just pull this one. And then we're going to even it out here. Pull this needle off. This is a, a lot of extra. I think I, I overdid it a little bit. It's okay though. Oops. How'd that happen? Okay. It's okay though. I'm going to leave it like that. And then you're just going to tie it in a knot. I know some people say like right over left and then left over right. I just make a few knots because I can. I never remember <laughs> which way it is. I'm hoping that I did it tight enough. That should be good. Yeah, that should be all right. Um, but you don't want it too tight either. So just do that. And then, you know, you cut this as however short you want it. Just gonna leave quite a bit extra just in case like I said sometimes I like to leave dangles it just depends so then you can take these out now and you have yourself a big old journal it's gonna be nice and sturdy because all the paper you know is thicker and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my envelopes so this is what I'm going to use to store the stuff in and what I was thinking was uh, <clears throat> now initially I was going to glue them on like I was going to do something like this and kind of glue them on but I think all I'm going to do is like paper clip an envelope to every month and then that way I can take it out, add stuff to it. You can do whatever you want. These are probably not the envelopes I'm going to use. I think I want to find some cute ones like that matched a month. Then you can clip them wherever you want. You can get dangles on your paper clips. 
put them on the side. So like, you know, you got February, obviously you can do a, this one says love, let's use this one. You know, you can put little dangles on it or whatever. And then that way, and you can label it if you want to. Then you put your, you know, whatever you're gonna put in there for the month, you can fill it up. And then at the end of the month, you can make your thing if you wanna do it, you know, once a week, however you wanna do it. So that is basically it as far as the making of it. I will show you me decorating it and kind of fixing all these little imperfections later on. But I just wanted to get this going for you. So in case you want to get one started for the year, you can do that. And again, I'll be covering all this, making it look nice and pretty. So that is it for today, guys. Be sure to check me out on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all the other, um, what are they, social media <laughs> uh, platforms. I have all of them listed in my description box. Check out my Etsy shop. And I will be back to show you how I decorate, fix it, make it look better, how I use my envelopes and all that stuff you know, throughout the month. So that is it for today, guys. Until next time, be blessed and be the reason someone smiles. Bye.